Stephanie. He is... Nash Aguas. And we are here today to collaborate for Southville's Amazing Stories. Alam nyo guys, meron akong sekreto. I actually invited Nash here because I need help with some of my math problems. And he is actually a math wizard. Kaya, kaya lang siya na dito. And since this is our first vlog ever, uh, we wore this purple uh, shirts, purple jacket, to represent our school. Para naman, we can still feel the purple spirit of Southville at the comfort of our homes, diba? And alam nyo guys, um, wish talaga namin is sana we get to visit the school in person para we could meet all of you guys na finally. Many of our viewers, I'm sure, may be wondering, what is Southville, right? Southville, guys, is our new home, our new family, diba? Kasi, as you all know, I hope you guys know, the schoolmates na tayo, Nash and I have recently gone back to school. Sobrang sarap maging estudyante ulit. Yun lang ang masasabi. Actually, no, it has been a long time since we felt the feeling of being a student, having requirements, and you know, studying. So, nakakamiss din talaga. Nakakamiss yung lagi kinagahabol sa requirements, no? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> nakakamiss yung nagpapanik ako sa deadline. Tapos, iiyak na lang ako. And we've been in Southville since 2020. When we've been? Parang, parang mali Kasi, naingit ka lang. So, ako yung original Southville student here. Excuse me. Correction, sige. Um, Mika joined uh, around August 2020. Yes. So, technically, siya po talaga yung ako na. At gumaya lang po ko. Are, are you yes. happy? That's the time na naingit na siya. So, ako okay, okay. Okay, so ako po, uh, October po ako nag-enroll. Dahil totoo po, naingit po talaga ako kay Mika. Kasi nakikita ko uh, kung gaano siya ka-active sa school, kung gaano siya nag enjoy And I said to myself, why not uh, give school another chance? So, yun. Um, and I'm really glad that I gave it a chance with Southville. Kasi so, so far, sobrang ganda na experience ko. You guys know, Nash has really been diving into business, actually, at a very young age. So, he's proud. And at the same time, he is really passionate about real estate. Kaya naman, to get a formal education on business and the things he wants to do, diba, um, nag-enroll siya sa Southwell. He decided to go back and pursue his studies. Nag-start yung background sa business because of my grandmother, si Mama, Mama Sita. Well, my grandmother... Uh, Shout out, Mama! <laughs> yung lola ko po kasi talaga ang, um, in a way, uh, mahilig mag-invest into real estate. So, uh, when I was younger, sinasama-sama niya ako noon sa pagbili niya ng lupa. And then, I think, doon nagsimula yung interest ko about real estate and nagsimula. My, my first investment was a uh, lot property in Tagaytay. So, after nun, kumbaga, doon ko na finocus yung pera ko or yung earnings ko sa pag-invest ng real estate. So, um, I think marketing management is going to really help me in terms of business and of course, selling your product, di ba? aspect On my part, I took up BS Psychology kasi ever since bata ako, uh, pag sinabi nilang anong college for sa kusunukulin, uh, I wanted something uh, na science related and um, I, I really love people. Yun yung pinaka reason ko. I love people. I love getting to know and understand why a certain person acts the way he does and bakit ganun yung behavior niya, what caused him to be that way, di ba? So, yun, I think uh, studying BS Psychology will help me understand other people better, uh, build emotional connections with people better, and syempre, pinaka-importante sa lahat is yung first step. Get to know and understand and love myself better. Kasi kapag happy ka sa sarili mo, 
that's the time na you get to spread your positive energy, you know, to other people also. So, yeah, I really love people, so be a set. But <laughs> actually, tama rin. Ang um, ganda na sinabi niya na understand. Kasi sa, sa panahon ngayon, like, I don't think people really understand each other. Parang more on reacting lang yung mga tao. Yes. Pag pinakita sila or binarinig sila, re-react agad sila. They don't take the time to understand yung pinagdadaanan ng tao ngayon kung bakit nila sabi. Yes. Kaya nag-lead sa madaming uh, conflicts, no? Yeah, I've always been interested in psychology, kaya ayun. We are here to share more of our self-built experience kung meron kayong mga gustong malaman. Kaya ngayon naman, we are gonna be answering questions from our self-built family. Bakit parang nagsistretching, stretching? Um, kasi baka mamaya makakadagdag to sa grades natin. Siyempre dapat laging, laging ganda. <laughs> Kagandahan ko yung answer. Okay, game, game, game. Ganito lang, alternate. So, ako yung first question, then you ask the second question. Pero both, Not we both okay. answer. Okay. okay, so for question number one. Number one. What type of a student are you? Ikaw muna, you ask. I think I'm a student who is willing to learn. Ooh. And not afraid to commit mistakes. Or to make mistakes. Me, I am a... I am the perfectionist and... Achiever. I'm also the grammar at times. So, di ba? May good balance. Perfectionist, achiever, pero grammar din. So, yes. Stop knowledge on yan. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, next question! Okay. What is your learning style? You answer first, you go first. I am a visual learner. So, I am also very organized when it comes to my notes. So, siguro yun, I learn visually. And in order to, to retain the information na nakukuha ko each and every lesson, I need to write them down, make notes, organize it. Kasi if makalat ang notes ko, medyo yun. Uh, siguro ako yung organized type of learner and visual learner. Thank you for that wonderful question. <laughs> Can you ask me the question? <laughs> well, what ako, is your learning style? Um, my learning style. Um, I think I don't really take notes. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Diba, I don't. I don't need it. Hindi <laughs> naman. Like I, I just don't take notes. I don't know. Um, but I ask questions. Mm -hmm. A lot of questions, actually. To my professors, parang until hindi ko siya naintindihan to a certain point, like nagtatanong lang ako until maintindihan ko siya to a certain point, parang ganun. Am I making sense? Yes, yes. Para yun, yun. kumbaga kailangan sa utak ko maintindihan ko siya fully before makapag-proceed mo na, pero... Ko yung curious type of stuff. Yeah, yung ang dami kong ano-anong questions regarding the topic. That's, that's a good thing. What was your dream profession when you were young? Uh, easy. To be an astronaut. To be an astronomer, astrophysicist, anything to do with space. Ah, I still love space until now. Mm -hmm. uh, dark matters, antimatters, black holes, supernova, spaghetti fire, uh, spaghetti fire, event horizon. Mm -hmm. Then, that was you, mga. Um, Study about aliens, study about stars, about solar systems, about uh, interstellar space, interstellar travel, about time, about dimensions, about um yo. Space now, Oh, we're here. Oh, hi. 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 Pero since, alam niyo naman, we are working students, di ba? Our schedules are kind of tough. Hindi naging possible yon for my scenario. But instead, di ba, napunta ako sa mas, um, mas akma na course for me and that is now BSI. 
So, siguro yeah, be a medical doctor, anything that has to do with helping people and reaching out to people and their needs. Okay, next question. Which from Southville's core values, the five C's, do you think you exemplify the most and why? Character, competence, collaboration, creativity, commitment to achieve. Uh, that's hard. I guess mine would be a mixture of character and creativity. For me, it's one thing, commitment to achieve, because I believe that <laughs> when you're committed to achieve something, you can achieve many things. Wow, I like that answer. Um, ito, how would you describe an amazing life? A balanced life is an amazing life. Wow. What a beautiful answer. Ako, uh -huh. For me, an amazing life is a life when short but sweet also. What do you like most about school and being a student? Maybe it's um it's having to learn new things. Siguro yeah, learning, building a community then, um gaining a new family. Yun, yun, yun pala yung sa akin. Um I treat self well as my second family, so I felt like ever since I enrolled and I've been a student again. Southville has been a solid moral support support system to me and ayun, yun ang masasabi ko. What makes learning fun? Uh, I think the most, the, the fun part about learning is that when you think of it, whenever you learn something, you're not the same person you are as before. Wow. Oh. True. That's very true. What makes learning fun? Learning is fun para sa akin. I get to enjoy most when I learn in a creative manner. Di ba minsan merong mga times na nahihirapan tayo makapisa or matutunan yung isang bagay. Pero kapag ginawa natin siya in our own way, kung saan tayo nag-enjoy, we add our creativity to it, that's the time na we learn, we really retain the information and learn something, di ba? Siguro learning, important is you make it your own and you you learn through the best way na natututo ka. Who is better in academics? Who is better in academics? Wow. Okay, Mika. Mika is better. Better than me. No? Yep. No. For me, same time actually. But we have yeah. our own unique ways. Kung kami tayo mag we both actually excel in academics, di ba? Ever since bata. Paras naman tayo achiever. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think we're both good because we're both striving mm -hmm. to be good. Mm -hmm. I think. Same answer. Yeah. We both are. We both are trying to, to be know. better. Ikaw, what made you decide to go back to school? Um, you know, you're one of the reasons that influenced me to go back to school. <laughs> uh, but other than that, um, I think I realized that for how many years I've been doing the same thing over and over again. And, uh, there was a time that I wanted to try something new. I wanted to learn and try new things. And I think pandemic really was the turning point for me when the pandemic happened. Yeah. With having so much extra time and not being able to work, I think um, the first months of the pandemic got to me. Kaya ang dami kong naging realizations. Uh, life right now is full of uncertainty. Hindi natin alam if we will still be here today. Pagising ba natin tomorrow? Uh, ano ng ano ng mundo? Kaya sabi ko sa sarili ko, now would be the time to follow my heart, to follow my dreams, do something for myself, and um, pursue something that I have always wanted to. So, siguro yun talaga, itong major life changes dito sa pandemic na to, um, 
yeah, it had motivated me to go back to school and pursue my studies. <laughs> okay. So that's it for the Q&A guys. I hope we answered your questions. Um, thank you guys for watching. Yes, thank you so much guys for the support and we would just like to give thanks to our Southville family. Of course, the mga faculty members po ng Southville that we have already gotten to know and to talk to. Maraming salamat po for the warm welcome kay Nash and sa akin po. To my Southville College of Psychology and to my Southville College of Business. Thank you for the support and of course to our Southville family, our Southville classmates and schoolmates that we haven't got the chance to meet yet. We are looking forward to meeting all of you guys in person and getting to know you more. This is Mika De La Cruz. And this is Nash Aguas for Southville Amazing Stories. Be amazing. Be Southville. Yes. <laughs>